guys. Um, so today we will be installing a fuel pressure sensor. Um, I've been wanting to do this for a while. I should have actually done this the first time when I done it tuned the car because it's actually a critical part to save the features of the car. But um, I'm gonna head over to the garage now and then um, I'll check you guys in a bit. So guys, we're back in the garage and um, I finally got my sensor in the mail. Uh, big ups to Red One. Um, he's a ECU master dealer here in Cape Town. And I purchased my management from him actually, as well as most of my sensors like my boost uh, solenoid I got from him, my flex fuel sensor I got from him, and um, this uh, sensor, the fuel pressure sensor is also what I got from him. The reason for that is I don't want to cheap out on sensors on this car because that's a critical aspect of a reliable build. Um, that's not something you would want to cheap out on. So I make sure I can match it to the ECU. So if I can find the ECU master, ATEM sensor, or whatever the case may be, I make sure I get my hands on it. So yeah, so like I said, the main reason for this um, video is I want to implement a safety feature or condition if fuel pressure drops. Um, enable a ref limiter so that the car doesn't drive into boost or um, if I see that there's a ref limiter all of a sudden then I can just switch the car off and assess the issue but um, yeah let's unbox this and let me show you guys what it all includes and um, what tools we're gonna need for today you're gonna need some connectors um, for when you do the wiring and you splice into wires or whatever the case may be you're gonna need some electrical tape as well and um, some thread tape for the adapter we're going to use so this adapter you're going to need because i'm going to tee into the um, fuel pressure regulator at the gauge and then the gauge is going to run on this side and then the fuel pressure sensor is going to run on top and then the fuel pressure regulator is on the side so um yeah you're going to need a fitting like this i'm not sure where you're going to find because i got this between all the turbo parts that i bought when i started the build um i got it with an oil return line kit so yeah this boss shed um this has a few different tools in it i carry that everywhere i drive or everywhere i go um basically if something goes wrong next to the road then i have a variety of tools i can use and then obviously you're gonna need a um a blade to cut off the electrical tape or whatever the case may be so yeah let's start with the uh, unboxing the sensor um, I'm going to bring it up closer to the camera. So here we have our plug and our terminals. Yes, so this is the plug. You can see that they have a little rubber around it for waterproofing, which is very good quality, which is why I rather spend bucks on buying a ECU Master brand uh, sensor. Um, nothing against the cheaper ones, I'm just saying this is my preference. So these connectors you're only going to use, uh, let me see how many you're going to use. Okay, so you're going to use three. Oh, they didn't bring me an extra one if I fail, so don't fail on these. I uh, failed on a few of them when I installed my um, management system. And uh, yeah, didn't go as planned, but yeah, luckily I had spare ones. So this is one of the rubber grommets you're going to pull over the the wire when you're going to wire it so yeah that's also going to come in handy for waterproofing um, and then yeah we have our sensor take note of the output voltage because later in the video i'm going to show you guys how to set it up on the map and um, our range for the sensor is 0 to 7 bar our output voltage is um, 0 0.5 volts to 4.5 volts just keep that in mind or pause the video and write it down or whatever you want to do um the rest of the information is not actually relevant so yeah then this is where the t fitting is going to screw into i don't know if you call this a t i'm not sure what you call it but anyways yeah so that's how it's going to screen gauge is on this side fuel pressure regulator on that side like i said but very important you'll definitely have to use a thread sealer not a lot because you don't want all of this to gunk up in the fuel pressure regulator um, and then basically you blow your motor because it's blocked your whole 
system fueling system but anyways uh we can use we can use a multimeter to check continuity for the wires um, however i did slay my wires uh, prior to this video when I set up the management which was well obviously two years ago um, those wires are already laid for the sensor ground and the sensors um, analog input so I'll put up a diagram on the screen for you guys to see uh, how I'm going to wire this so regarding the the wiring you'll definitely have to pay attention as to the how the connectors are orientated on the diagram um, I made the mistake in the past when I installed my ECU I installed it completely the other way around because I read the diagram wrong and um, I thought there was a blown unit but I wired it back around the other way and um, that took me like another three days but just to figure out that the orientation how I understood the diagram was wrong so I'll drop another screenshot on the screen as to how you should understand the diagram because ECU master makes it clear so that you don't misunderstand the whole um, diagram like I said. So guys, I don't have a uh, wire brush here, so I'm just going to use a paper clip to clean the threads, the old thread sealer that's on here. So guys, I didn't have any um, brown wire, so the green is my signal wire, the orange is my sensor ground. Um, I should have used green for sensor ground, would have just made sense, but anyways, um, that's the case. And then I'll be using my yellow wire for the 5 volt supply. Um, I'll be tapping it in here into my map sensors 5 volt supply. I did some research on it and um, splicing into your 5 volt supply shouldn't be an issue when sharing sensors. I'm not sure if I mentioned when I um, showed you guys what tools are going to need, but this is a wire stripper. Oh shit! automatic wire stripper so it's much easier you can use a manual one as well but um, yeah we just have one like this so that's why I'm using it
So guys, we are back inside the car. Um, everything is set up um, on the sensor side, the engine bay. So mechanically, everything is wired up as well. Um, we're going to hop into the software and see how we can set the sensor up. Um, I did check for fuel leaks and everything seems good. Uh, there's no fuel leaks that I can see or smell. Uh, let's hop in into the software so that you guys can get a good understanding as to how the software looks and basically just how easy it is to work with the software. Alright guys, so this is the interface of the software. Um, the mic is coming off my laptop so I'm not sure if I'm too soft or too loud but I'll try to speak up. Um, so we head over to sensor setup and you want to go to extra sensors. Wait, but first, let's just open a new window. So here I have a window called Input and Outputs. Um, so we can open up extra sensors and that's where you'll see your fuel pressure sensor input. So as you guys know, we wired it to the black connector, um, which is on pin 19. So it will be B19 is analog input four. Um, and then, you would want to go to your fuel pressure calibration uh, table and then remember when I told you guys in the beginning that you'll have to write down the or keep in mind the voltage so on the sensor they said that 0 0.5 volts will be um, at 0 bar and at 7 bar maximum it will be at 4.5 volts so you guys can see that my table is not scaled for that so what we can do is we can go to um, let's see uh, right click and we go to when was it and we scale it from 0 0.5 to 4.5 and then we select 0 0.5 volt at 0 bar and at 4.5 it's going to be 7 bar and then we just select the whole table and we select interpolate horizontally and that will just smooth out the uh, graph on a linear basis basically so yeah um, just for extra just for fun fact you guys can go to fuel pressure failsafe as well and this is where you can enable your failsafe for your fuel pressure so the minimum fuel pressure will be 2.5 bar, maximum uh, 7 bar. Anything under over those values will enable your ref limiter, um, which is set at 3000 as a failsafe. So let's uh, switch on the car and get over to the logs and see um, if we can log this uh, sensor. So on the logging side, um, we can just select log parameters. Uh, we have RPM and map, which is fine. We want analog input for fuel pressure. Analog input for. And then this we can just it as. We just want to see if we get a signal to make sure our wiring was correct. So let me just switch on. So guys, as you can see, there is a signal um, and there is voltage coming through to analog 4. I'm not going to gonna go into detail as to check the fuel pressure on different RPMs um, because it is kind of late already and the neighbors will complain if I um, drive around right now. So yeah, um, everything seems good and it seems like it's working. Um, it was definitely worth it. If you guys like the video, um, drop a like, subscribe, comment, do all those nice things. It really helps the video. I think that's it for the vlog. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed it and I'll catch you in the next one.